Our next guest is uh, one of the best-known British comics working today. His films include Nuns on the Run and The Pope Must Die. <laughs> kind of a frothy little offering, wasn't it? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back our transatlantic friend, Robbie Coltrane. Robbie! Nice choice of music. Coltrane. <laughs> appreciate that. Coltrane, yeah. the best. It's Coltrane. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? The other one. Very well. How are you? Good. How, uh, when was the last time you were here? <sighs> 1970. No, just kidding. Um, was it a couple well, of years ago, wasn't it? No, it was about six months ago. Really, six months that's, ago. That's the impact I made, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> have, have you? Uh, you got the chair fixed, by the way. Forgive yeah. me. If, yeah. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to do yes. it again. Yeah. Uh, forget, forgive me if this is a little indelicate, but have you have you put on a little weight since you were here? I've actually lost some weight, as indeed you have. Yeah, I have lost a little yeah, weight as well. Lose? I've lost 25 pounds. How about yourself? I could lose 25 pounds from a buttock and nobody would notice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what a lovely image, Ooh, too. Very big. <laughs> Sorry if you just eaten. Forgive me. Uh, and and, and are, you, are you trying to lose more weight? Are you dieting? Um, are you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to diet... Next year, I've decided to lose maybe ooh, 100 pounds, something yeah. like that, and then play James Bond. <laughs> what, what, is the, what is the most you've ever weighed? Um, I don't know in pounds, about 20 stones. I don't know what that is in pounds. 20 about stones? 300 pounds, something like that. 300? Really? Is 300 it, is pounds? It, I, don't I don't know. know. I, don't I, don't know. know. I, don't I don't know what you're getting for. I don't know. Because uh, I was these, the ball players, you know, the guys who play the, the football, somebody yeah. says they're 200 and something pounds. Yeah, they get up close. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And to me, that means nothing. That just means you're going to pay extra if you try and put that in an airplane, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with those stones. Um, now, now, Robbie, uh, tell us yeah. about this, uh, this project of yours. I, I, th I think this is a great idea. I well, think others have done it, but I think you're going to be particularly inventive well, with it. I do it. hope so. I've, I've always had a passion for old Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, us large objects tend to stick together. And uh, take your time. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to drive uh, from Los Angeles to New York in an old Cadillac. It's a very romantic notion. It is a wonderfully yeah. romantic notion, particularly an old car. Yeah. And uh, this is us, uh, just arrived today, in fact. Yeah. And, um, what kind of car are you talking about? 51 Chrome Boy Cadillac, they call it. It's a big chrome <laughs> strip in the bottom. It looks rather like a mobile sort of Radio City Music Hall. Yeah. Uh, you know, with white walls. And, uh, it's huge, isn't it? The engine, you can't imagine. When you, when you go in for gas, the guy says, turn the engine off, please, I can't keep up. You know, that old cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but unfortunately... <laughs> <laughs> He's a good man. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the car, uh, the, the, a company in London found the car for us in Florida, and it was the Michael Moss Engineering Company had done the work. It was absolutely falling to bits. Now you're saying Michael Moss? Is Michael that... Mouse. We call it in, in, in oh, Europe. Mickey we say Mouse. when something. Oh, Michael Moss. Oh, I see. It, I Mickey Mouse yeah. Plumbing Company. Yeah. When your plumbing goes yeah. bad, you know. So, I get it. Okay. So I'm going to get sued by Disney now. It's not <laughs> something that happens here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so they, they did a really bad job. So the car was not a sound transportation? Terrible, no, yeah. no. It hadn't had half the things done to it. It should. So I spent most of the trip under the bonnet. Now, will this be part of the documentary you're doing? I don't know. I don't know. But when we get back, I'm going to sue them until they bleed. <laughs> Good for you. Yes. Where, where all did you go? Where did your travels take you? Well, we went right across. We went, the first place we went to was Vegas uh -huh. after, after Los Angeles. Had you spent was, time there before? Never been there before. It's a great town. What a wonderful... I thought... Um, Wrongly, obviously, that it was going to be very seedy, mm -hmm. and it wasn't. It's very clean. It's like a very clean, yeah. grown-up Disneyland. Yeah. It's vi sociologically, it's a wonder. It's it's fascinating. Yeah, it is because yeah. you you come through the desert at night. We came through the desert at night with the, with the roof down, mm -hmm. and it's pitch black. You can see the stars. It's like something out of a cowboy picture. It's so romantic. Then suddenly there's this great thing floating in the distance yeah. with this, the lights, like a mirage, and you you go to the hotel. And everything's about gambling. You open the door, and between opening the door and going to a reception, you know, to enter the front desk, there are 400 machines, which yeah. you can't avoid. And then they point you to uh, the elevator, and between, between the front desk and the elevator is another 400 yeah. slot machines, the crap games or whatever. You go up, you open the closet once you get into your room, and there's video poker being played. Uh, you go to the toilet, and between the toilet and the, and the paper, <laughs> there's another slot machine, yeah. you know. Uh, it's quite unbelievable. And... The, the amazing thing was, you know how uh, in documentaries they, they try and they hope something interesting is going to happen. The first machine <laughs> I went to, I know, with me, they should be so lucky. The, uh, the camera comes in behind me and, and the director says, put a quarter in the first machine you see, yeah. Rob. That big one, it looks kind of interesting. Forty bucks came out in quarters. You won first time? Forty dollars, yeah. And what did you do? Turn it over? Take I, it right I, to it? I put it in my sock and stuck it under my bed because I'm Scottish. <laughs> Uh, and did you get a chance to get out of the city a little? It's beautiful oh, country. Did. did you get yeah. out to Hoover Dam? 
We didn't get the Hoover Dam. We went to Colorado. You know that huge, great, um, the Arches National Park with the great big um, sandstone lumps? Is there any... <laughs> I don't know as far as my about. geology goes. Hey, there's a lump. I don't know. <laughs> you say Arches, I think you're talking about McDonald's. Are you sure you weren't at a McDonald's? No, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we, hey, please, please, please don't. I think you could hurt me. This is this is the guy I won't be fighting tonight, uh. ladies and gentlemen. Later with Bob Costas, Kirk Douglas. I've always told my kids that they have not had my advantages. See, to be born in abject poverty, Bob, is an advantage because you have nowhere to go but up. Treat Williams, Brian Dennehy, Susan Rattan. One chilling murder will bring them together. <gasps> Deadly Matrimony, NBC Sunday. We're very, very late. My thanks to Kevin Costner, 10,000 Maniacs, and uh, Robbie Coltrane, 20 stones is 280 pounds. Nice to see you. Thanks, Good Dave. Thanks. Good night, everybody. Hi, I'm Sinbad. You know, I got into comedy to help spread a message to the young people. So here it is. Hey, kids, watch Saturday Night Live this week when I host with musical guest Sade. Mm -hmm.